Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to set pipeline return value in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics. Or in simple words, you can say that how to pass values from one pipeline to another pipeline. So master child pipeline and passing the variable values and all those kind of things. So that's what we are going to explore. It is just a new feature. So I will try to explain all the details here. So first of all, uh, I have uh, created two pipelines. Uh, I could have taken some things from starting, but uh, I just want to have uh, save some time and make this demo uh, short uh, instead of uh, creating in everything in front of you. Now, you know lookup. So in the lookup, uh, let's say you are getting some values uh, and uh, I'm calling this pipeline PL child. You can call it pipeline one, two, three, whatever you want. But here, uh, I instead of uh, getting some values from other table or somewhere, I just wrote a simple select a statement. Uh, if you see right there, it is uh, saying select 100 as ID, uh, Amir as name, and one as the uh, ADF engineer. So zero if uh, he's not ADF engineer. So this is just uh, one record I'm creating it. And I'm also saying that uh, first row only. Okay, so our lookup is going to return us uh, one row. Let's preview the data and we should see this uh, only one row returned by the lookup. Okay, so you can see right there. I use a lookup here, but you can use any other activity, whatever is needed. Maybe you are using web activity and you want to save the output of that one. So you can have any activity and then save uh, this uh, output uh, to the variables. Uh, so here, uh, if you see my lookup is connected with the set variables. Uh, this one uh, is important. You have to do it. Uh, otherwise, uh, you will not be passing uh, the values uh, from your this pipeline to another pipeline. In our case, I'm going to pass this, these values from PL child to the master pipeline. So let's go and take a look how the variable has to be set up. So let's go to the variables here and in journal, just as a name. Um, so leave this as it is, go to settings here. And now you are gonna select a pipeline return value. And uh, before that, we had only one pipeline uh, variables, but now this is a new one that is uh, right there. So select a pipeline return value. And here uh, you have uh, uh, option to create uh, new uh, variables. So see right there, if I will click new and this is going to ask me name, maybe I will say test and then uh, type. You have string, expression, object, array, integer, and all different type of uh, variables uh, available. Uh, so let me exp go a little up so you can see the entire thing. So you have uh, everything string, expression, object, array, and boom, uh, float, boolean, and a null. So notice here what I did. Uh, if I want to save the entire output of lookup, uh, and that's only actually first row in my case. Uh, so I said expressions here, and then I went here and uh, said that lookup dot output. Uh, so you can see right there, simple lookup dot output. That's what I selected here because the output of this lookup I want to save in the variable called the lookup output. Uh, now there are some uh, other uh, variables I created called such as. Uh, maybe gender and uh, just boolean value and set to true. This is hard code uh, values. I'm not using expression to set the values of these uh, variables. Uh, and then I created another variable called the child pipeline name. I gave the type string and I gave the name to my test child pipeline. Uh, so you see that uh, you can create uh, some uh, variables directly and uh, just uh, set their values uh, whatever you want uh, and also use uh, the output from the activities uh, this is more important because you're not going to set the just the values here hard coding it uh, sometimes you want to read the output of this uh, activity and uh, in the other uh, pipeline so in that one you're going to use expression and then you will be using uh, the uh, value here so you write the expressions so in, in our case uh, output out of uh, this uh, lookup uh, let's execute this one and take a look what happened so i'm running uh, this uh, pl child pipeline here and it's going to first execute our uh, lookup activity and then a set variable um, let's take a look here and that's uh, completed uh, let's take a look on the output here so you can see right there first row of lookup uh, this is the value we have and rest of that is not really important here. So let's close it. Now we go to the set variable and you can see that uh, here uh, it has key and value. 
and uh, this is how it is uh, going to save them. I have article right here and you can uh, take some examples from here. So it does explain pretty much the same thing, uh, but uh, the example is a little bit uh, different. Uh, okay, now I will put this in description so it will be helpful to maybe take a look up. So it is going to be JSON, it is going to be C right there key, value, and then uh, you have value and uh, all those different uh, contents. Uh, here let's go ahead and take a look. Now our first value we use the type expressions, the contents you see right there that's our content and remember that there was two different variables we had it so the, they should be here too. So remember for gender variable so the key is gender values boolean type is boolean and content is the true. Same way we are gonna have another one key is our child pipeline name and then value is a, is a type is string and this is the value so those two variables right there okay this is all done now uh, what we can do we can simply go ahead and uh, go to the master and run it if you see the output of this variable you're gonna see something like that um, value lookup output first row and all this is this can be helpful for actually to write the expressions so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to the clipboard and paste in the notepad so I can show you let's go to the master uh, pipeline let's publish this one just in case we made some changes and here I'm gonna go to the master in the master pipeline what you have to do you have to call the first child pipeline and in that child pipeline I'm using a execute pipeline activity to call that a PL child you can see right there okay now how to get the values of those variables that we have created in the PL child so I have let's get the first variable and we call that one child pipeline name so remember from the uh, output of a lookup we copied here and if you see right there you are seeing child pipeline name that's the key you are gonna use and that's the value we want to get so it is pretty straightforward what you need to do you will be creating a variable in the master and here use the set variable activity now in the set uh, you will not use this uh, pipeline return value because we don't want to return the value we are using the value from the previous pipeline so we are saying pipeline variable and here you write the expressions so now the, your expressions are going to look like this so see there are two type of uh, um, um, I will say like outputs available here so first is uh, just the output and then other one is the uh, execute pipeline one uh, pipeline return value and that's available so what we have to do what I did I just uh, kind of I'm gonna cut it uh, the entire thing I use this one once you have that uh, at the end uh, you are gonna use uh, the name of key so if you remember here's the key so child pipeline name so that's what we will use and we'll say dot and just paste it there so now we are able to get uh, the child pipeline uh, name from our uh, this uh, child uh, pipeline that we just executed in our ma master pipeline um, hit ok so that's fine now what we want to do we want to get the ID so let's go right here if you see right there these are the parameter variables we created the uh, and the hard code is the value and uh, but we also have the lookup output so if you see the value this one that was directly right there so we did output return output dot this uh, key but in this case uh, of lookup we cannot just go ahead and say um, dot ID we have to go first lookup output dot first row and then ID so this is how we are gonna get uh, this value so now we are gonna go here if you see right there and uh, I'm saying ID that's a variable I created here if you remember uh, we had the ID here in the child uh, is uh, then the lookup is uh, coming as a number so there is no number available here as of uh, now in the master so I have to convert this to the string so let's click on the value here so we went to the variable and then the journal so I get the ID from the child pipeline go to settings and give a name here so you just uh, create a new variable here give a name and uh, I gave the name ID 
and then uh, type you have only three types of available string boolean array okay so I selected string because I want to save the value 100 so now when I try to save 100 in this one it's going to give me error so I have to convert the value okay so that's what I did now here uh, this is how the expression is write, written so if we take this out totally you know and now you see we need to get uh, the ID from the lookup that we have ran in the first pipeline and that we want to have saved the output in the variable so now first of all we are going to go right here and say execute pipeline so we got that one now it's uh, there are remember that here output in the value we have uh, this output right so we am going to copy this that's coming from the lookup output variable that we had in the child and then the first row and then ID okay so I can just uh, type it ID or copy paste so right there so this is done if I will do this okay and now execute let's wait for the next one so same way you can get the name and in the name if you see right there I use the same uh, activity output dot pipeline dot return value so I did not use the output value return value use this one and then you will say the variable name uh, that you have set uh, in the child one so look up look up uh, output that we did uh, and we have first row and then we have a name here so this is string that's not going to be problem so now I'm going to run it it's going to fail because uh, my ID will not be able to save uh, and uh, we have to kind of convert do conversion okay so see right there our pipeline executed this is a child pipeline and we go to the set variable here get name from the child pipeline so if you see right there that's the name and value is Amir so this is the input and if I go output here name and Amir so you can see that our variable has got the value you know okay great now let's go to the next one and we're getting pipeline name if you remember that this is our input variable name child pipeline name value this one okay and now if we go to the output you're gonna see name and that's your output for this uh, this is the value okay great now if we go here it's telling me hey your integer and uh, there's a string so you have to kind of do conversion here that's fine and if I can cl click here see the input ID and I have 100 here so I'm gonna go back here in the variable go to expressions and here I'm gonna look for function and go to conversion and string convert the parameter to the string I'm gonna click right there right here and hit string it's gonna bring that function so I'm gonna remove this parenthesis so at the rate string parenthesis start and then close parenthesis at the end so that should do it now that's it and we can run this one okay so that's uh, almost uh, getting complete give me a second okay our child pipeline has been completed successfully now the variable has to be set and we can see that uh, let's uh, go from top so name Amir in the variable and uh, the child pipeline variable and we have to get ID so we got the ID from the lookup output variable so we have the ID now available as well so sometime you might get confused like okay let's say you haven't got this output and is still struggling so simply take a variable here okay uh, add a variable right there and let's call it test and string okay and I'm gonna connect uh, I'm gonna set variable here again and then you can connect and here you're gonna go to the right here and use uh, the test and then uh, you can go to the values here and then uh, right here use this entire thing as is so let's say execute pipeline or return value preview use this and hit ok so now don't do much and just execute again so what it will do uh, we will be able to see the entire output to come in uh, uh, from our first pipeline and then we can write uh, our expressions and everything and all these variables uh, where we needed uh, because you have at least uh, uh, some uh, information so go to the set variable that we have test uh, and click here on the input uh, and you are gonna see see, see right there you're gonna see this uh, entire thing so you have uh, variable test and then you have value you have lookup 
and first row so here uh, your these two variables coming from your uh, child they are straightforward so you will uh, have uh, that return uh, uh, value dot uh, uh, that key value right here the name uh, and the gender that will work straightforward and in case of other values such as uh, lookup output because we have saved multiple values there in the lookup output variable in the child pipeline now you have to see like you have to go to this node first then go to this one and then go this one to get it so this will be helpful for you okay so that's fine if i will take you back uh, here in the pl child and uh, i want to show you one more time and set variables just to see right there see out lookup output variable we use expressions and we save the output of lookup by using uh, these expressions so that's uh, the output we are talking about uh, all around so setting these variables are straightforward but uh, if you save the output of uh, any previous activity in a variable then uh, you have to go in your master or wherever that you're calling uh, and then uh, use uh, those uh, uh, expressions uh, to the sub level like where in my case i used uh, right here so you can see right there okay so i hope this video will be helpful thank you very much for watching this is a great uh, uh, actually enhancement for uh, uh, because we were struggling to pass the values between the variables and all that so explore it experiment it and you will be all great and expert in this one after creating one or two pipelines thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video